649 is your time. Now we're looking live out in Akron, Ohio this morning where they're seeing some heavy rain moving through that area. 67 degrees there, so a little bit cooler in here, but that is above normal uh, for that part of the country. In fact, we're seeing above normal temperatures across most of the U.S., uh, not feeling anywhere like uh, the approach of fall across the area. For us, the, we can see pretty quiet conditions now. We've seen a couple of isolated showers around the lower valley, and now coming in just towards the south of Brownsville, seeing a little cluster of storms, all part of a bigger area that extends all the way down into northeastern Mexico, and that is an area of low pressure, and it's been moving out of the Gulf westward towards the uh, coastal areas over the last several days, and that has helped to kick off those showers and storms, those heavier downpours like we've seen uh, for a number of days now. So there is the trough down towards the south. Otherwise, high pressure continues to control most of the state of Texas, and that is a heat high. And so temperatures from Dallas, Amarillo, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, pick an area, and temperatures are way above normal for this time of year. In fact, they could see some mid and upper 90s as you go into central Texas uh, this week. So this morning, we'll see the chance for some of those little showers across the lower valley kind of coming together at noontime and then extending westward as we go through the day. They're going to be scattered out there, so there's going to be good opportunities to get some rain in your backyard but not everyone's going to get them. And then after today, those rain chances really start to drop off. And of course, we get to sunset tonight and all pretty much comes to an end across the area. An isolated shower chance possible for tomorrow. Highs day will be in the lower 90s east, upper 90s west, but it's going to feel again like about 100 to 105. Out in the tropics, we have a little wave that the Hurricane Center is watching here. Moving north though, and only a 20% shot of doing something. Fiona is a category one hurricane with 90 mile power winds making landfall along the Guinea Dominican Republic and there's Madeline with 60 mile an hour winds out of the Pacific. But there is Fiona winds gusting up to 115 miles per hour and it does has a well defined eye right on the east coast there of the Dominican Republic. That system will eventually start to curve off towards the north and will basically become just a ocean storm. Lower 90s for today and all the way through the upcoming week, but the rain chances go isolated Tuesday into the upcoming week and a little bit better rain chances by Sunday.